welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today is Saturday, the 15th of January. Now, this morning I went to work. I worked from 7 until 12, half 12. And then I went to the chiropractor and then I came home. And honestly, I've just been chilling and I've left filming till late for no apparent reason, but it's fine. Also, yesterday was Mine and Kai's eight year anniversary. Just saying, I think that is so bloody cute. We meant to go out for dinner um, and then we ended up just watching Harry Potter and Aldrin the Dominoes, which is literally just us in a nutshell. Anywho, today I figured I would tell you guys what I've been doing to try and actually turn things around this year because you know, year after year after year, you always say, this year's the year, this year's the year, this year's going to be different. I'm sure you've all done that and I've been doing that for the longest time and this year I'm genuinely like, no, I really want to break this cycle and so I'm going to tell you things I've been doing to really genuinely changed things this in the last two weeks like i'm honestly so proud of myself i've only been doing really really small things um but they've made the biggest difference so before we get into this video please do make sure you smash a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below also subscribe to my second channel which is my shorts channel where i post content 60 seconds or less uh, but without further ado let's get into the video okay so one thing i really want to emphasize is that it's so important that these steps are just really small and easy because what you don't want to do is dive straight in with all these huge goals things that are going to take lots of time time consuming things really things full of effort because likelihood is you're not going to keep them up it's a lot of pressure and then you're just going to fall back and then have to start from the bottom again so i think starting with small steps it's good to just change a sm change small habits and then you can eventually like build it up. So the first thing I did, number one, on January 1st, New Year's Day, I had a room clear out. And I don't mean I tidied my room. I mean I got rid of, I went into every crevice of my room and cleared out. Keep off right away. And if I was keeping it, it had a proper home. I cleaned everything. Like I cleaned all the shelves down, cleared all my mirrors, my windows. I threw loads of stuff out, cleared out all my clothes, my shoes, underwear, literally everything. I had a massive clear out because I feel like your room is 100% a reflection of what's going on up here and for me personally if my room's a mess I literally can't cope like I cannot get in bed at night if there's something like if there's a dirty sock on the floor no it has to go downstairs or in the hallway like I can't have it in my room for me having a clean room is so important got to a point where my room could be tidy but it was still cluttered like it was just tidy as it could be and I wanted to have a complete clear out so now all the corners of my room so tidy if you want to once I've made the last few changes to my room, I'll do a room tour. But at the minute, I just want to kind of, like, do a few more bits to change it around. But have a clear out. Whatever you're doing, I would start with a massive clear out just to get your head in a good space before you do anything else. Clear out. Throw things away. If you want to keep it, give it a good home. Store it away properly. Keep on top of the cleaning. That's what I would firstly do. Now, once you've done that, this is my favourite way to keep my room fresh and tidy because I always will clean my room and then within a day or two, it's messy again and there's no worse feeling. And my room... On the 15th of January now, it's still spotless, which I'm really proud of myself for. But the way I've done this is I literally, my new best friend is Febreze. So I come in every single morning, every single evening. I Febreze all my covers and my quilts on my bed and pillows to make my bed fresh. I put air freshener in my room to make the air feel fresh and open the windows for a little while. I have a diffuser in my room to make the air smell good. So I basically freshen all the air on the covers. I even spray, I have like my clothes rail here. And I will spray Febreze all over my clothes, literally everywhere. Then I have a literally a really quick two second hoover like i was doing it every day now every few days um but just to pick up any dirt and it just it literally takes five seconds and before i like literally hoovering my room is the biggest task and i wouldn't do it for weeks whereas now the more you do every day the less there ever is to do but because i do small bits every day i ne like now i don't have to tidy my room like, i need to have a little clear up which will take me five seconds but i never have to actually tidy my room anymore because i do tiny things every day to keep on top of it and now there's like nothing to do so just have like a wipe down of your desk every evening, spray a bit of a breeze, a bit of air freshener, make your space fresh. Have a little hoover through and you're literally done, that is it. And take all dirty washing down and put all dirty washing away. Like keep on top of your washing, I personally will get like three pairs of pyjamas and some knickers and a, my work uniform maybe. Chuck it away quickly, hang it up quickly, it takes two minutes and it's just being disciplined to get it done like for me i'm so undisciplined normally so like i would just chuck my washing on my chair and then it would build up for the next two weeks and then i'd be like oh my god i have so much washing to put away and i would literally sit on the floor and cry because it's too much for me like over stimulates my brain and i get brain block and i literally can't cope discipline yourself come straight in whatever you're doing from like at school from college from work 
clear your room spray freshen up your sheets have a little quick hoover put your washing away it takes honestly five ten minutes tops and this is coming from the world's worst procrastinator okay so cleaning aside the next step that has really helped me is keeping a journal and journals are so underrated but specifically at the beginning of the year what i did is i wrote down a list of all things that were bad in 2021 and all the reasons i love 2021 just so i can get a good perception of how negative or positive I'm looking at my life and how many good things have happened that I wouldn't have even thought twice about. So I just have it in front of me, I was like, oh, it was actually a really good year last year and I don't want to take that for granted. And then the next thing I did was take habits from myself or things that I do that I wanted to take into 2022 with me or leave in 2022. So for me, spending loads of time on my phone, not putting my washing away, speaking negatively of myself, all things like that, I wanted to put like not being disciplined, I wanted to leave in 2021. And in 2022, I wanna take reading, journaling, being more disciplined, never missing uploads, all these things I wanna take in because the thing is, you can verbally say, oh, I wanna be healthier this year, but you need to physically write down on paper exactly specifically what you want to change and what you want to do. Then the important thing to do is write how you're gonna do it. It's the tangible steps, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna make sure I journal every day? Allocate 10 minutes in the evening. How am I going to keep my room tidy? Do it first thing every night, be disciplined. You know, you need to write tangible steps all the time. But for me, putting everything on paper is so helpful because you have to visually see it. And once it's on paper, it's more likely to happen because like, you've said it to yourself now, you've committed and you've put it clear in your mind rather than all these thoughts jumbling around, it's clear, it's there, do you know what I mean? The next thing I did was actually update my vision board. So you guys may notice if you've been here since last year, my vision board was actually on my wall behind me. Click on any sit down video of mine and you will see my vision board up on my wall. What I actually did was condense it onto one small board and updated it. So I got rid of anything that I maybe have changed that I didn't want anymore. So for example, I had like um, makeup PR packages. Not really a bit of me. Don't know why that was on my vision board. I don't really want to do that anymore. So I took stuff like that off and I put on stuff like pictures of me in London because that's how I want my life to be more consistently. Like I want to have days out in London and just like have the money to go out and do whatever I want whenever I want. A subscriber plaques, places I want to visit, the car I want. It's so important. I'll show you my vision board. So this works exactly the same as when I was telling you guys that you need to have it on paper visually in front of you to work. This is the same with this. So all these images that flash through your mind. So if I say to you right now, how do you want your future to look? What do you want? You're going to have pictures in your mind. Find, name those pictures in your mind. Google them, print them and make a vision board. So this is my vision board here. Okay, so on my vision board, I have, I have the car that I want. I have quotes that are really important to me. I have these pigs going to travel. I have me in London on a nice day out. I have my subscriber plaque that I'm going to replace with my real subscriber plaque. I have a check of how much money I'd want to be into my account. I have a picture of what I want my future house to look like, the back and front. Places I want to travel to. We've got New York, we've got Disney. I've got an amazing day when I met so many of you guys. And I would love to meet you guys more often and see you more often, so I put it there. I have a little room of what I'd like my office to look like in my future house. And it's so, even my wardrobe, what I want my wardrobe to look like at the top. And it's so important to have every little detail in a picture. And I can look at this and I just see my future all the time. And I think that's so important. But honestly, I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to make a vision board. Honestly, I just can't recommend it enough. Okay, this is kind of linked to journaling, but write a page of all your goals. Like, what do you actually want to achieve this year? Not who do you want to be, not what do you want to change, not what's your ideal life going to look like in 10 years. What do you actually want to achieve this year? What is reasonable for you this year that you could actually realistically achieve? And write them down write down so many goals for example my goals were to hit 1 million on tiktok a hundred thousand on um instagram and youtube to 
to buy a new car next April. So I've actually, what I've actually done between now and next summer, I've written down all the months of the year and what I'm going to achieve that month. I've written a timeline for myself of my goals. So I wrote down all my goals and then I made a timeline and put my goals to a month and a year because then I'm holding myself to that by this month on that year I have to have this goal by this month that year I have to have this goal because it's more it's not just like oh yeah that will happen at some point like, no this is actually happening in a year and a half so get your butt up and make it happen Do you, does that make sense so write down a list of your actual goals that you genuinely want to achieve this year and put it to a month when do you want to achieve that by and again how are you going to do that what are you going to do to achieve that goal I want to make sure I tell you guys everything because I'm going to edit this video and be like oh you've got to say that something else that is really important to be able to move forward you need to let go that is the only way to move forward is to let go of things that have happened and that's what I'm really really working on this year is letting go of the past I'm the worst for holding on to it I've done it for seven eight years now and it's just time to move on I turned 20 in like two weeks and I refuse to go into another year of my life and to go into my 20s specifically holding on to all my teenage and childhood grief I won't do it I refuse and so it's really important to let go of that so what I did is I wrote a letter to my past self I wrote a letter to myself 10 years ago saying what I've been through how I dealt with it and how I'm feeling now write a letter to your past self heal your inner child and let it go that's really important so write a letter to your past self is something I recommend whether it's childhood trauma Me mental health that you're going through anything write a letter to your younger self or write a letter to yourself when you was in a better place that's how i would do it so we've got room cleaning discipline journaling goal setting dates to goals vision boards what am i missing self-care every single day self-care doesn't matter what you're doing make sure you're doing your skincare you're moisturizing you're putting on your lip balm you're moisturizing your hands you're keeping your hair fresh and clean and like healthy make sure you're having your daily shower every single day or your bath i've been having baths more often so i can just take my time to actually relax and not just rush in their shower quickly have time to sit and relax and really take care of yourself like self-care is not a waste of time and it's really important like for me i really struggle with self-love and self-confidence and so i've got to practice that so every day i'm looking in the mirror oh i hate this 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 and that actually no lolly what do you love about yourself i write down things every evening when i journal i could write what am i grateful for today what do i love about myself what wasn't so great about today what am i going to change what am i going to do differently tomorrow how did i feel today what have i done to be proud of today you can write anything i recommend that as well actually is maybe in the evenings i feel like i'm throwing loads at you guys it's not necessarily specific points but every evening write something that you're proud of and grateful for like, what are you proud of what have you done today to be proud of do you know what i mean also i feel like so keep on top of your self-care do your skincare your hair care have a bath whatever i forgot what i was gonna say for me, a hobby that I've set, one of my goals was to finish the whole Harry Potter book series this year, and I'll tell you why, is because I spend too much time on my phone, period. I mean, I obviously want my career to be in social media, which is obviously based on your phone, but I spend too much time on my phone just browsing, looking for stuff that isn't healthy for my brain. And reading for me is such... It's something that I used to absolutely love. I was I used to love reading when I was a kid, and I've stopped for no reason. And I think it's just a healthy habit where I'm taking that time to myself. It links into self-care. I'm taking that time to myself every day to just read for 10 minutes, just be in a different world, a different place, a different mindset, and just indulge in that. And just I think reading is so important because it's just not being on your phone. It's taking yourself away. It's bringing yourself to the now and using your brain, using your eyes, using your words practicing your vocabulary just to be in the moment with yourself and your brain so reading is something that i've taken on this year as well and i do recommend 10 minutes a day reading and the last thing that for me personally i've done is i with regards to me specifically have made sure that i have not missed any uploads this year one of my goals was to not miss a single upload so i planned out i need to do three tiktoks a day minimum three to four instagram posts a week minimum two youtube videos a week every single week posting on my shorts channel i know my content when it needs to be posted i'm not gonna miss a single upload because it's something for me something i can be proud of something i work towards so now every single day i think about my goals and i take at least one step every single day towards my goal because imagine getting to the end of this year and saying every single day last year i took a step even a small tiny step towards my goals and that's what i'm doing every single day i'm practicing self-love I'm reading, getting towards my goal, finishing my book series. I'm posting videos every single day, making some form of content every single No matter how tired I feel, how poorly I feel, how great I'm not feeling, there is a form of content posted and made every single day. I journal every single day, freshen up my room or tidy it every single day. You have to take a small step, even just one of those things, even if it's just putting your washing away, you have to take a small step every single day towards what you want to achieve. And something I've not yet started in 2022, which I do want to start, is 
again, healthy eating and water. I know that everyone says, oh, be healthy, go to the gym, blah, blah, blah. Genuinely, that is something I probably should focus, but these are just my, like, bare minimum of, phys like, mental health. Like, we can talk about the physical another time, but for your mental health, all of these tips are exactly what you should be doing. Guys, I promise you, I've gone round in circles for years. I procrastinate so much. I struggle so much to be productive. Honestly, this is coming from the person who cries to herself in her bed because she wants to be productive and her brain is just like, no, not today. Like... So I promise you, like I genuinely promise you that these steps work because this is what I have done as someone who struggles so badly to be productive and stick to her word and has gone around in circles for eight whole years, eight times I've got to the end of the year and thought for God's sake I could have done it this year. Do not do what I did, please take my advice guys, I promise you it really helps. These are the things that I have done that have genuinely helped turn my mind around a 360 this year and I've not been able to do it any other year so obviously what I'm doing is working for me so please give it a go this is the best advice I could give you guys and I've been a bit bamble what's the word rambly I've been a bit rambly but guys thank you so much for watching this video I do hope you all enjoyed I really 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 hope it helped if it did please do let me know below also leave a yellow heart if you've made it to this point of the video down below so I know you made it this far um but I'm sending you guys love wishing you the best of 2022 I hope you can get in some good healthy habits too um but yeah send you all love and I'll see you all for Wednesday for a brand new video bye <laughs>